Hi, welcome along to AFTV. We've got a very special guest with us today, ex-Arsenal player, and I won't mention the fact that he played for Man United, Mikael Silvestra. How are you doing? I'm very good, thanks, Robbie. And you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I know you've been speaking at the launch of um, Spitch and their new game mode. Um, and for anybody who wants to find out more about that, we've put a link in the description if you want to get involved in that right now. So um, all the details regarding Spitch will be in the description. But Mikhail, great to um, have you on, especially today because um, the fixture lists have just come out for Arsenal and um, it's official. The first game of the season is going to be Arsenal again, right? Um, this time, not like last year away at Brentford, even harder. Away at Crystal Palace, um, London Derby, Friday night, 8 o'clock kickoff, kicking off the season. What's your thoughts on that straight away? It's a tough game. It's a tough game. I think it's a perfect start. I think the players will release the, the challenge. Friday night uh, games, I mean, night games are, are the best ones to get your energy and, uh, and, and yeah, it's just electric. So in terms of preparation and getting to the game, it's easier. Floodlights, I mean, no, it will be still uh, <laughs> still sunny and, and, and bright mm. at that time. But it's a, it's a good one. I think, uh, you know, you don't have to travel. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, I think it's good. I, I, I fancy mm. Arsenal. You fancy Arsenal because last year, remember, that was the game where we went there and we came there straight after the international break, went away to Crystal Palace and we were, you know, everybody was in a good spirit. And we got absolutely destroyed, lost 3-0 to them. Patrick yeah. Vieira got one over us. And actually, even when they came to the Emirates, um, it was a last-minute goal by Lacazette that got us back into that game and got us a draw. So it's going to be tough. It will be tough. I'm not saying otherwise. But I think this team is, is, is learning uh, pretty fast, you know, after a very, very difficult and tough start of last season. They've recovered. And uh, that's because they, they want to improve. So on the back of these two performances of uh, at uh, at Palace and at home at the Emirates, I think they would have they would want to to show that lesson learned, and uh, we we're gonna get better as for the manager and the players. What have you made of Mikel Arteta? Um, obviously there was the disappointment in the end of finishing fifth, but overall, what did you make of him last season? After a month into the competition, if you ask me and a lot of people where do you see Arsenal finishing last season, fifth would have been like, no way they're going to make it. So, um, yes, being disappointed, uh, it's natural because of the, the run they were in and the, the, the deep in form at, at the end, it's, it's normal. But overall, I think it was where Arsenal was, was supposed to, to be. Um, a lack of consistency to, towards the end, which is the, the point they have to address going into, into this new season. But it was, there were some very, very good uh, promising performances last season. Yep, yeah, and um, of course, when you was at Arsenal, you played as a centre-back. And um, one of the players that I'm excited to see coming, finally, to play at Arsenal is William Saliba. Of course, he's been playing for France as well. I've seen him playing some internationals there. And he had a great season for Marseille um, last year on loan. He got the young player of the season. I mean, what have you made of William Saliba? I think um, he, he, he made it to uh, Saint-Étienne very early in his, in his career. At, at 17, he was playing first team football. So um, he, has, he has improved, no doubt about it. I think there's still room because he's obviously he's still young. Uh, and yeah, if, if he can uh, get up to, to, to the speed of the Premier League, because yeah, I like my Liga, you know, it's, it's quite competitive, but it's nowhere near, nowhere near the, the Premier League um, because in the Premier League, every team is going to give you a, a run for your money. And mm. he's going to be facing the best strikers in the world, which is not the case in, in France where except for the, the Monaco's, the PSG, Lyon, and, uh, and, and Marseille, and, and Rennes, to a certain degree, Nice. Um, I, I'm not saying it, it's easy, but it's not as competitive as, as the Premier mm. League. So there will, be, uh, there will be still some learning curve for him. 
You think with the Arsenal fans, we're going to have to be patient because I think it's been so long that we've had him and we're all desperate to see him play. And even speaking to some Arsenal fans, you're like, Saliba comes in straight away. He starts now. And so, but you're saying, hold on, be patient with this guy. He's going to take time to adjust. Yeah, I think so. I think he, he will need support. But I think the, the fans at Arsenal are so good uh, with young players. They, they know that uh, young players coming from the ranks of, of Arsenal or elsewhere need, need some support, need some, some confidence. So I'm not concerned about that. I'm just saying, uh, give him some time, but he, because he can't becoming a, a leader uh, and straight away master the the Premier League. Otherwise, he would be competing for the for the best defender in the world with Van Dijk, oh. and he's not there yet. Okay. Um. Obviously, with us, every Arsenal fan at the moment, we are desperate for signings. We we see a lot of players leave, especially in the striker department. Um. We're desperate for signings. Gabriel Jesus is the player that is. He's on everybody's lips here at Arsenal. He's been linked heavily with a move to Arsenal. Would that be a good signing as far as you're concerned for Arsenal? I like Jesus. Um, I like his style of play. I like his energy, his mentality. And uh, he's adapted very well to, to the Premier League. He comes to the peak of his, his career. So I think it would be a, a good signing. Also, he could link up with Martinelli. Um, and uh, he fits with Arsenal. DNA and style of play. So, yeah, it's normal that he's on on the top list of, of, of the target or at least being linked heavily with the, with the move to, to the Emirates. Mm. And then there's other players being linked. Um, Tielemans is another one. Yuri Tielemans is another player that um, seems to be at the top of Arsenal's list. Obviously, we've seen him play over the years at Leicester. Do you think, it, we, it, it, again, he would be a player that would suit Arsenal? Yeah, I believe he has the, the attribute to, to fit into the, the midfield. Um, you know, I think he, he remembers me a little bit of, of Mikel, mm -hmm. um, uh, with a, a little bit more eye for, for goals. And uh, his progress since he joined Leicester and imposed himself with the Belgium national team, definitely a, 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 it would be a very good addition into, into the midfield for, for next season. Mm, and, and another player that uh, is getting heavily linked now, I'd love to see this happen, I don't know, Rafinha at Leeds. Um, I'd be surprised if it gets done, but we, we, it still keeps coming up day in, day out. Um, Raf yeah. Two, actually, Rafinha and Marco Asensio at Real Madrid. Those two, seem to their names seem to be popping up all the time. Yeah, I think Asensio would be, um, if, if he's not getting enough game time at at uh, Real Madrid, but for Rafinha, also, I mean, the priority is for him to go to, to Barcelona, but financially, well, now they don't have the, they're not equipped to, to finish the deal. And that gives uh, Arsenal an edge and a chance to to sign him. So there will be a lot happening uh, over the, the next months uh, or two to, to make sure the, the team is getting better and and um, equipped to compete in all fronts because also with that um, World Cup, which is going to be demanding on everybody, you need a, a strong quality squad to be able to to finish strong in uh, in April, May next season, next next year. No, very, very true. What, what are you up to these days? I mean, I'm looking at you. You still look like you could be still playing. I wish. Still looking I good wish. shape. You're looking good shape, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I try. I try to stay fit. You know, it's good for the body, but it's good for the mind as well. So mm. I run my own agency called Talent Life, looking after upcoming talent and and some uh, yeah, some oh, exciting prospects. So, so come on, who, who, who have you got? For, who have you got for Arsenal? Then we, 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 you got lined up. <laughs> <laughs> too early to say. Too early to say. Very Ooh. soon. <laughs> but you got some. You got you got a good crop of players then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good players. Good mentally, um, and yeah, looking after them on and off the pitch, it's very important. And yeah, just passing on my my experience, you know, sharing my my knowledge mm. and my my journey through football and and, and through life.
Well, listen, you'll be, you'll be able to uh, set them in good stead because you've done it all. Um, I want to thank you very, very much for um, coming on today, Mikhail. Um, thank and you, also, uh, for anybody else who wants to find out about um, Spitch as well, uh, the link is in the description. But Mikhail, listen, all the best in the future. And uh, yeah, if you have got any players that could be on their way to Arsenal, you know what I mean? Just let us know, you know what I mean? Give us the I'll inside give you a info. Tip. Give I'll us a give tip. You a tip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. That's Mikhail Silvestre, everyone. Um, thank you very much. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.